Let's get it, drop. I'm thinking like that was your first song. Oh, You've no. been doing it for a long I'm time. For a minute, now. probably since like 2017. Mm. Talk to me, man. Like when when that dropped, right? Everybody get get to know you. Everybody's thinking that's your first song. Cause I'm pretty sure I, I wasn't the only one. I couldn't have been the only one. But when I dropped it, everybody still didn't know me though. Mm. Wait, what? Yeah, they still ain't know. Like they they it's like you know how you got a hit song, but you don't really be outside, so they don't really know your face. You right. feel me? I wasn't really getting out outside in the clubs and shit like that. So they ain't really know my face. I had to get out there and work it. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Hollywood Code. Yeah, yeah you don't remember that, that sample? Yeah, I'm singing the original song. Don't look at me like I'm crazy, nigga. Like, see, shout out to my guy. He talking about, about I'm singing the original song. He ain't say no words. I said, bro, I said. So how he know it then? He ain't say no words. <laughs> nah, nigga said I'm terrible with that, but he got it. So I, I clearly had something, right? Let's get this shit pop, man. What's popping, everybody? Mr. J Hill in the building. Uh, J Hill podcast, as you can hear, man. As you can see, special guest in the building, Honcho. Hey, man, we've been trying to do this interview for a minute. This guy, he been having esteem for a long time now, and it's crazy because, like, you know, when you don't know no better, you come. Yeah, what they say? When I was a boy, I, I thought as a boy, and then I became a man. I put away my childish ways. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't know too much. The uh, what song was it? Your, your hit shit. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it, drop. I'm thinking like that was your first song. Oh, You've no. been doing this shit for a long I've been time. I for now. a minute, probably since like 2017. Mm. Talk to me, man. Like when when that dropped, right? Everybody get get to know you. Everybody's thinking that's your first song because I'm pretty sure I, I wasn't the only one. I couldn't have been the only one. But when I dropped it, everybody still didn't know me though. Mm. Wait, what? Yeah, they still ain't know. Like they they it's like you know how you got a hit song, but you don't really be outside, so they don't really know your face. You right. feel me? I wasn't really getting out. Outside in the clubs and doing shit like that. So they didn't really know my face. I had to get out there and work it. Okay, that makes sense. Was that different from you? Like getting out there, actually working the records and. I mean, nah, not for real. I mean, cause I was ready for it. Like I wanted to do it. Okay. All right, let's get into this interview. I got a, um, I got this little thing I do, right? Well, I'm going to say a, a statement, right? And I just want to get your, uh, your first thought behind it, right? Or a couple thoughts, all right? So I'm going to say something. I'm going to get your response behind it, all right? All right, so uh, the first thing is. The music industry versus the streets. I mean, I don't know. It's different. It's, I don't know how to explain it because I don't really know the industry yet. You feel me? Mm. But like, I've been going through some shit like, with the music shit, though, like, like that I ain't really smelling. You feel me? And like for me, I feel more comfortable in the in this like in the street setting then like just strictly music you feel me mm. but i know this is what i gotta do mm. like, i can't really tell you the difference because i don't really know the industry yet like, when i get all the way through the door then i'll be able to tell you all right we're gonna talk on that I'm, I'm gonna touch on that but this is your time this is your time so i'm gonna just uh the next one is record labels record labels stay independent long as you can mm. like, like you really like, cause social media really all somebody need for real. You feel me? Like that's all you need in the connects. You feel me? But you can get connects through social media. Like stay independent as long as you can. Cause, like I say, before you sign, have at least two or three hits. You feel me? Mm. Then you can get what you want out the label. Get what you need out the label. You feel me? Mm. If you ain't really, if you ain't really got nothing to give them, you just hard and they like you and they want to sign you because you're making a little noise. You feel me? You ain't gonna really get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Unless you got a good team. But I know when I came when I came in, I really ain't like it was just me and my bros. I ain't really had no team who was already in the in the music industry, you feel me? I was just ready to go, like get to the next level. Mm. Like I signed because I felt like that's what I needed to get to the next level. I felt like I ain't had what I needed. That may help though, right? Or yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Right. I ain't gonna say it's I ain't gonna say it's a bad thing, but just come ready, like come come already ready when you when it's time to sign. Okay, I'm gonna revisit some of these things, just like you know. But this is your time to shine. Um, 
One hit wonder. One hit wonder. Mm. Uh, I mean, people ain't never really even got to make a hit. Feel me? Mm. Like, I know I, I listen to people music. I listen to people music who I don't think never had a hit. You feel me? Like, they just make good music. Mm. Feel me? Like, I say a hit is like, a hit nowadays is probably like a TikTok song. You feel me? That everybody rapping it mm. and dancing to it and doing stuff with it. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Um, stand down with the niggas you came up with. Got to do that. If they real, got to stay down with them. Been through everything with them. I still got all my bro around me. Mm. Okay. Um, downplaying your celebrity. Uh, like you talking about like like my like yourself. Mm-hmm. I be doing that a lot. Like I be having people uh tell me I'm bigger than what I think I am. Like. I just, I don't never want to make myself feel like I'm I'm already there. You feel me? When I know I can go a long way. Facts. I, even when I do get there, I'm still at like that. I want to stay humble, guys. All right. Um, Being slept on. Mm, uh, A lot of people be saying I be slept on, but I just don't feel like, I don't feel like I be slept on. I feel like everybody just ain't heard it yet. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, once everybody heard it, like, Cause I don't think it's nobody that heard my music. And it was like I want to listen to it. You feel me? So everybody who heard my music, listen to it. Yeah. No, I seen a couple of people say his music's really good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, being genuine. Being genuine. Um. Mm. Being genuine. I don't know. I just know I'm a genuine person. You feel me? But earlier I messed up. Like. Being genuine, you feel me? Because I was, I was thinking like it's all about like everybody genuine, like everybody who's trying to fuck with me genuine, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, but niggas ain't genuine. Like this shit a business at the end of the day. Like you can't look at it, you can't look at it like that. Like that's enough. That, that's one thing though that you can can't say about the streets in the industry. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. this shit a business. You feel me? You can't look at it like you can't be looking for for genuine shit. You just gotta handle it just like a job, just like business. That's a fact. Last thing. <clears throat> All right, so uh, from ranking from greatest to least, or most important to least important to you, right? Three things I'm gonna give you. Um, one being the most important, three being least important. Rank these three things: love, loyalty, and respect. What well, gotta come first? Gotta be loyalty, loyalty or respect. I don't, nah, you gotta pick one. Nah, we can't be on the on the fence. You gotta pick one. One of them things gotta come first. I mean, sure, you gotta have respect though. You gotta have respect. So that's number one for you, All right? Okay. Um, loyalty and then love. Mm. Why? Um. Why shit. loyalty then love? Who gonna be? Uh, who gonna be lo- Who gonna be? Uh. Oh, loyalty then love? No, you said it. No, this ain't my answer. Oh, I thought uh, I, I was going to run it down from respect to loyalty then love. Wow. You feel me? Like, because for somebody to be loyal to you, they got to respect you. You feel me? Like, you got to have respect. You got to be a respected person. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Like, ain't nobody finna be. I know people who, who is loyal to people who ain't respected, but that ain't right. That ain't righteous. You feel me? Mm. Like, you got you to gotta be respected. You got to have loyalty. I say loyalty then love because. I mean, people really don't need people don't people really don't need love. You feel me? You really don't need love. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just like I just know what's in my head. Like, it's no, it's no correct answer. It's your answer. I know, but I just don't know. I don't know how to put the words put the words together. It's like, mm-hmm. it's just I feel like. Loyalty, loyalty is is better than love. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. You feel like loyalty is better than love. Yeah, I mean, but everybody want love though. But there's some super gremlins out here that don't care about love. Or they say that. That's that what they say. But they want, they everybody say. wants everybody wants a little love. Facts. They, I want some love. They, they super gremlins because they ain't had love. Mm. That's a fact. They don't know how to receive love. They don't even know what it look like. Mm-hmm. There's people out here that's loving you, that's loving on you. You can't even recognize that shit, and you pushing it away. 
you feel like you you ever feel like that sometimes? Like, like you can't recognize the love that people are trying to give you. I be feeling like that. I be feeling like that sometimes. Mm. Like I don't know. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's real love. I know they're trying to show me love, but I don't know if it's real love or fake love. Mm. It's kind of easy to give you love now with the, the position you in, mm-hmm. right? You drop a song, everybody know your name. It's easy to love you, right? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's hard to differentiate what's love and what's fake. What's, what's I love, genuine was not. I love everybody though. Mm. Facts. People say that. Do I love y'all niggas? I got love for everybody. I don't. <laughs> I got love for you. This is here. I don't know you niggas to love you, but whatever. Let's get to the conversation. Let's get this shit started. All right. So, um, first question I asked you was, uh, music versus the industry. You like you can't really describe it for real. Mm-mm. I don't know. It's just because I ain't really in the industry. Like, I ain't. I ain't made it in the industry yet. You feel me? What's the industry, bro? Because you're the second person that came up here and said. I ain't made it in the industry. And the first nigga that said it, if this nigga, he was one of the biggest <laughs> I interviews, I ain't in the industry. Like, what's the industry? Because from outside looking in, I ain't in the industry. I'm trying to get, you see how many times I DM'd you? How many times I text you? That's mm-hmm. trying to get in the industry. Me looking outside looking in, you look like you're in the industry. You got hit songs, you on every platform. It look like you're in the industry. Nah. So got, what's the industry? I got, the industry eight, I got a hit song, but everybody, the whole world don't know it. You feel me? A lot of people know it, but the whole world don't know it. Like when I went on tour and did shows in other states, like a lot of people in the crowd didn't know the song. A couple mm-hmm. people did, you feel me? But a lot of people didn't. So like when you, like I say worldwide, like everybody know your music, everybody know your face, everything you do, like it, like anything you do is gonna go viral, like whatever you do. I ain't, I ain't saying like it's gonna go viral, but it's gonna do something. Like somebody gonna see it. Like you can't do nothing, nothing out the way. If somebody gonna see it. Okay, that's the industry. All right, all right. But you got a taste of the industry, though. Even though if you don't think you all the way in the industry, if you got you got a foot in there, right? So you got it. You 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 signed. You had a couple record labels hit you, right? So it wasn't just one situation. You had a couple situations. So you got to know how it feel to be in there a little bit, right? And like you said, when we talking about being genuine, you know, you, you yeah, it's a, it's a business. Mm. I said that it's a business. Do you think you made them uh, just curious? Because I I used to think this, and I hear a lot of people saying this. Um, when it comes to being genuine, right? Was you misplacing genuine with business at first? And was you unable to understand how to handle business when it didn't look like it was genuine? I mean, I really wasn't like I really ain't even was wasn't on business at all. Mm. You feel me? It was just like like I was on some genuine shit the whole time, like like and I'm thinking that's what's going on, but that's not what's going on. Like you gotta get some out of this shit, you gotta get some out of this shit, this and that. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, cause um, it, that's crazy. I think I hear one of your interviews. You was like, man, you was people was trying to sign you. You took less, the less you took a less amount than other people because you felt like they were genuine, right? Yeah. Do you thinking back on that? Looking back on that, do you regret that? You shut the door for me, bro. If you don't mind. I mean, I don't regret it. Cause I can't regret nothing, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, I just got to accept what it come with, you feel me? I just got to make the best out of what I do. Yeah. You feel me? Like, like I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have went no other way. It probably would have been worse. Like, if I would have went another way, it would have been worse. Mm-hmm. Or it would have been bad. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I don't really regret it. It's just like I was saying, just stay independent as long as you can, you feel me? Why you think that, though? Why you say it had three songs? Because, like... You gotta have leverage. You feel me? When you when you coming in, like when you come, when you get signed to a love, you gotta have leverage. Leverage, like you gotta have some. You feel me? I already like so what? So you can you can be the boss at the table. You feel me? Like tell them what you want, what you need, and they give it to you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines. Man, he's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi million dollar businesses. Right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen. As an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? 
They hold each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Talk to me about leverage, right? Because if you don't have leverage, how does that look? Because from somebody that don't know no better, right? Somebody that's looking for a deal, they thinking, man, I get signed as lit. I'm assuming you was thinking the same thing, right? So when you when you have leverage, what's some of the things that you was fighting for, not having leverage, that you couldn't get, that you saw some other rappers that had leverage could get? Uh, I don't really know. I don't really too much know what the other rappers got. But I just know that the money... It ain't gonna be what you want it to be if you ain't got leverage. Um, how they how they doing you? It ain't gonna be how you. It ain't gonna be how you want it if you ain't got leverage. Like, like what? When you say how they doing you, like like give me an example. Like for say say for it depend on it really depend on your deal. Like say doing what you want to do, you ain't gonna be able to do what you want to do. You gonna be able, you gonna have to do what they want you to do, how they want you to do it, when they want you to do it. Like dropping music. Yeah. Okay. All right. What else you was about to say? Something else. Um. That's really it. Like you ain't gonna be able to, you ain't gonna be able to do what you want, and get what you want. Like, like money wise and, and dropping wise, shit like that. So when you say money wise, right? It's crazy because, like, from the out, again outside looking in, I hear music deal. I hear like a loan. They give you money. You gotta it, re- yeah, yeah. recoup that shit anyway. It, it, it is, the, but if you got leverage, it's not a loan. You feel what I'm saying? Oh shit! Like, like you can, you can get what you want if you got leverage. You feel me? But if you ain't got nothing, they gonna do that. Like, oh yeah, he ain't got nothing. Let me just get him this. He gonna mess it up. This and that. Now he owe us. Oh shit! So if you got leverage, you don't have to pay them niggas back. Or your music, your music lit. So the music gonna make the money anyway. It ain't. It ain't even like that. You gonna have your own money. You feel what I'm saying? Like you already like. That's another thing. Like you gonna come to them with your own money. You feel me? So what can they like? How much? How much more they can give you that you can't get them back? Mm. Okay. Damn, that makes sense. All right. Yo, you know, it's funny. Um, I think I was, I don't know, it was some industry exec. I was telling them, trying to get an interview with you. And they were saying, like, uh, one thing about you, you bring a lot of people. Like, you still show up with everybody. Like, oh, yeah. your whole entourage. I mean, today, you blessed us. You ain't, ain't pop with everybody. You <laughs> nah, still travel like that? Or? Uh, yeah, sometimes. I move I move by myself a lot. But, like, when it's time for, for everybody to be around, everybody around. Like, it's, but behind the scene, we we still, we out there. Is that is is that like a is that marketing though in a way or that's just your niggas? No, nah, that's just how we are. Mm. Still to this day. Yeah, most definitely. How long y'all been together? Like you and everybody. Um, I mean, somebody's been together for like since kids. Somebody's been together after like some people came along after like it's just there. It's a lot of. That's not scary though. Like I said, I'll be scared. Like because you don't know who. Who like I'm saying like you don't know who very right, trying to snake you. They say you know keep your circle small shit like that. I mean we know who the real ones is. We know who the we know who the original members is. Okay. Feel me? A nigga play get them get them from around. Mm. Is it hard trying to maneuver in the in the industry like just coming having that street background? Um, not for real. It really help. It help. Yeah. Ah. Cause a lot of people don't be rapping where they really been like where they what really been happening what really been going on so. They gonna respect the real rapper. I ain't gonna lie to you. I understand, but I don't understand. Cause the niggas that's rapping what they the niggas that's rapping about what they really about, we see they getting booked. They charge the niggas for sending their lyrics. So it's like if you're a real nigga, is this the odds is still against you, like honestly, right? Like, yeah, yeah, it is. I ain't gonna say it help you get out of it help you escape out of the other shit, but all right. It help with the fans, I guess. You feel me? Okay, cause they could they know you real, I guess. Yeah, but I could see that shit a mile away though, like a nigga lying or not. Does it matter now though, really? Honestly, it matter to me. But I'm saying when it comes to the money, we talking business. I mean, shit, you make good music, you make good music. Right, cause I mean, it's some yeah. niggas out there yeah. that make good music that probably ain't in the streets. Yeah, so. you make good music, you make good music, you're gonna sell either way, whatever, wherever you came from, whatever you did. Facts. Yo, that's that's crazy that we talking about that when you um. I don't know if you had, if you thought about this, but like, you know how like all our favorite rappers, they will make music, like struggle music, and then they get money, so they start talking about bitches getting money, and everybody be like, man, I like old da-da-da, I like old da-da-da. Do you ever think about that? Like, when you start really getting to it, your music gonna change, and niggas gonna want the old you, the old honcho? Or is people saying that now? Uh, 
Not for real, cause I feel like my fans gonna grow with me. Mm. Feel me like they want. I feel like they gonna want to see my growth. Feel me and want to hear my growth. Like cause they cause they really watched it. But it's different. Like if they ain't see it, like you was just rapping about this and then you just straight straight blow it up overnight and you rapping about this. Right. That's hard. That's, that's interesting though about you. Like because even when I asked you about the uh, one hit wonder thing, your answer was so like just. It was different in the way of like, bro, like you can be a successful rapper without a hit, which is true, right? But on the other side, on the flip side, it's like having a hit can be the the very detriment to a nigga mentality because that shit is hard. If you you now you can catch yourself chasing this hit. Do you catch yourself trying to do that? Mm, I just go in the studio and make my music. That's one. That's that's a that's a problem I've been having. These folk been wanting me to make a hit. I mean, we still we still family now, but it's just like they been want me. They like it's like they only want a hit. Like how the hell you gonna pick the hit? You feel me? You gotta let the world pick the hit. You can't pick the hit. It ain't. I don't. I mean, I ain't never went in the studio and just said like, "Oh, this finna be a hit," mm-hmm. and I made the song, and then it's a hit. No, I just go in the studio and rap. Just like let's get it. I went in the studio and rap. I was really playing when I made let's get it. I made it. It got leaked and became a hit. Mm-hmm. So we talking about the niggas that want to hit the 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 labels. I'm assuming the label. You still with a who you with now? I'm with 300. 300 I'm still with 300. Yeah, no, that's, that's that's a good joint. That's not bad. So it's crazy. It's, it's just dope to hear you be so grounded in your artistry. But that come from being in it like five years though, right? I mean, because like any other nigga, like even shit, even the nigga that has been in it a long time, shit, even me, I go viral. I'll be like trying to chase that shit because it's mm-hmm. like, bro, I want that money. I want that. You know what I'm saying? But like you kind of grounded. Like man, look, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, be on the next thing. Like as soon as something happen. Gonna push it for a little minute, I'll be on the next thing. Like, facts. Damn, I mean, shit, that's kind of dope, though. Yo, what happened? Um, are you the shit we were talking about off camera? Are you talking about that? What I mean, well, you put on your gram, so oh, the whole about the baby, yeah. Oh man, what the fuck, bro? That shit had to fuck you up. I mean, it really ain't fucked me up. It really, it really took some weight out my shoulder for real, for real. Feel what I'm saying? Because that bitch was. Like on some more shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like on some evil shit, like. So. Yo, is you it? You feel what I'm saying? That's not fair. Like girls can really do what they want out here. And then you out, and then you really saying, you really saying, like you saying it's like you know, like when the like the DNA test finna come back, and I'm finna be the daddy. Like you saying, it's like wait till this test come back, child support this, 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 and that, this, this, and that. But I'm just going with it. Like I don't even be on no evil shit with her or, or none of that. Like you good, you straight, this and that, like. Boom, tell come back. But now, so now it's now it's uh I ain't gotta explain myself to you, this, this and that. I ain't asking for no explanation, first of all. But is that hard to like I mean, like let's 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 talk for real on some on some man time. I feel like that had to be hard to detach, right? Cause you I'm you was there the whole time, you spending money, you spending time, you love, affection, you know what I'm saying? And then you find out it's not yours, like, was that hard to detach from that? I mean, I was spending time. But I wasn't spending time how I'm supposed to because how the female was. You feel okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Like, like it's on some shit. Like it's on some shit. Like like fought fought with fought with. Like if I fought with the baby, I gotta fought with you. But I wasn't on there. I was trying to fought with the baby. You right. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you was just handling. You basically was just handling your business anyway. Yeah. Hell yeah. Most so, definitely. And I and, and like I said, I still handle the business. If whoever the daddy is not trying to be there, you feel mm-hmm. me? I still handle the business. I mean, that's a man time. Feel me? I don't never want to see no little kid grow up without no daddy. You feel me? I was one of them. Nah, facts. I know. I know. When I was a kid, like when I was a little kid, my daddy was around. I remember him like like four, like three and four, and five. You feel me? I remember that, and I know how I love my daddy. And then when he, when he disappeared, I know how I felt. Mm. Damn. Damn. But that shit. Had, I mean, that's. I get she was, we ain't even making this about her, but I get like she was making it hard for you. But even still, when you find out it's not yours, even with all adults, right? That shit had to hurt, no? Like that ain't hurt? I was really like, I was really most surprised. Like, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna really say hurt. I'm just gonna say like, it's just, I was just like a down, like, I'm just thinking in my head like that. That's some fucked up shit. You feel me? Cause you yeah. ain't no female slow. A female know who know who our baby daddy is, man. You yeah. know who you slept with. You know when you got pregnant. You know who you got pregnant, bro. 
Or not, even if you don't you know, crazy. you know it's a possibility that it's somebody else. Exactly. At bare minimum, like you know it's a possibility, like yo, it could be X, Y, and Z. Exactly. And then they tell you like it's only you. It's only it only could be you. Like I've been I've been wanting to get a DNA test at first. You feel me? But I was still there, but I've been wanting to get a DNA test just to make sure, just to be hundred percent sure. You feel me? Cause I got a little boy, like I got a, I got a one year old little boy. He look exactly like me. You feel me? Like we got the exact same face, everything, you feel me? And I just had another little boy. We both black. You feel what I'm saying? The baby come out light skin as hell. Mm. You feel me? Don't look nothing like me or you. Mm. Damn, son. It's like, it almost feel like girls get away with murder nowadays, though, bro. Like, it should be some type of, like, you know how nigga, they make niggas pay child support and shit like that? Like, it should be some type of, like, retribution or something that a girl got to do, even with the tank shit, bro. Like, bro, you got that man locked up just to come back and say he ain't do nothing? Like, that's crazy. Tank? Who was that? Uh, the boxer, Javante. Oh. Like, bro, like, I don't know if you've seen it, but, like, my man got locked. He's a professional boxer, bro. He get locked up because Shorty is making a phone call saying, like, um, he putting her, his hands on her. You know what I'm saying? Now his shit's all over the tabloids and shit like that. And she come out and saying, um, she he ain't do nothing. And she apologized. It's like, bro, come on, son. I don't, the jail shit, I don't even play the jail shit. Yo ass gone. First time you give her some police ass shit, yo ass gone. Bro, that shit, man. But it got, like, you got to feel, like, just for her to be able to even put you in that position, like, that shit got to be like, man, nah. Yeah, they're going to take the girl side, like, however, anyway. If, first of all, a nigga ain't even doing, on, doing no police shit. A nigga ain't even going to talk to the police if they came. To, they even explain to them that it wasn't me. It was her. A nigga ain't even do all that. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to take you don't have to take it anyway. Well, I'm not. Nah, I'm about to say, I'm, about to say, I'm definitely like, that ain't me. Fuck all that. Yeah. Like, shit, bitch. You can go to, you can go to jail. You go to hell. Fuck you talking about? Like, I'm definitely saying you go to hell. Fuck you. Nah, I ain't do shit. Like, this bitch is lying. Like, no. See, that's that hood shit. Niggas for the hood. Niggas just be like, it's certain shit I ain't going to do. But like, I, nah, would, nah, nah. I would be like that, though. I, like, even when I be... Even when I be seeing the, the little Amber, Amber alerts on my phone and shit, I'm like, I be thinking in my head, like, what if I really see? Like, what if I really see what they saying on the Amber alert? You ain't going to say the kid? I ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to call the police. I'm going to try to do it myself. You feel me? Probably. I ain't never had the situation, but nine times out of ten, I'm going to try to do it myself instead of calling the police. All right. I mean, I mean, at least there's some type of heart there. Like, you going to try. Mm-hmm. So, you see, so let's paint a picture, right? Amber alert come to your phone. They're loud as shit, right? You see a nigga, they, they got the description of the kid on the Amber Alert. You see this random nigga with the kid in a, a, a white truck, the white milk truck. What you going to do? A white milk truck, and I see a, see a nigga with the kid. With, the, with that, that described the Amber Alert. What you going to oh, do? Oh, I'm going to straight go get the kid. I'm going to go get him. Got to go get the kid. You can just go get him. So how the fuck you gonna get the kid back to their parents if you don't call the police? You gotta be like, how you going? Nah, I'm gonna drop him off at the at the station. I'm gonna drop him off at the station. The niggas said I don't want nothing to do with no police. <laughs> I'm gonna drop him off at the station. They're probably gonna lock me up for it. <laughs> you gonna take this shit? <laughs> They're probably gonna lock me up for it. Nah, but I ain't gonna lie though. If I post if I post him on Instagram, his parents gonna come. But then they gonna think they still gonna think it's you. Like, they gonna have to prove it though. What the fuck you willing? They gonna to see the blood on my hands. They gonna see the blood on me. So you gonna you they gonna willing, see the they gonna see the blood on me from being a nigga up. So you willing to risk all that? Just I'm about, just nah. instead of just like yo, look, call the cops. I got you. I, got I ain't you. calling no police, bro. <laughs> He's like, I ain't calling no police. I don't care what's going on. I just can't. But now, damn. Even if I need help, I ain't calling the police. Take me to the hospital. Wait, for real? Yes. Nah, I don't even call the police. Damn, bro. Like, that's... I ain't gonna lie. Be... I don't think I'm scared of police. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm glad I'm a civilian. And God. Bro. I'm glad I'm a civilian. I, I'm okay with being a civilian. Because that shit is a lot. Like, all that shit is a lot. So what you think about the... um The... The civilian versus street nigga conversation. I don't know if you heard it. Like, you know how niggas be talking about snitching and shit like that? Mm-hmm. So, like, if a civilian walk by, right? I mean, well, if, if, if a civilian come to their car and, and their car is broken into, right? And they call the police and say their car is broken into. Is that snitching? If I it's mean, just a random person that's not in the streets. Yeah, it's snitching, but, I mean, that's him. Like, that, that, like you can't do some shit and expect him not to tell. Like, you got to know what you're getting yourself into. Mm. I say, like, 
it's 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 a difference. Like like when I was when I was doing what I was doing, I was doing it to street niggas, not regular niggas. Cause I know what come with doing that to regular niggas. Right. Cause they got the right to tell. Cause they not on what we on. You feel me? Right. So it's it's, it, it's snitching, but it's they not held to the same accord. I guess. I mean, shit, they held to the same accord. It just it just. I'm just saying, like, to niggas, like, don't think, like, to do something to somebody who not in the streets and then think they won't tell, you feel me? Mm. Okay. Since we on this conversation, I'm curious. Why do niggas have such a high regard, the street niggas, and when it comes to snitching, when we all know that there's no honor amongst these? I'm assuming when you get in the streets, you already know niggas can do you dirty. But niggas, everybody be so surprised when niggas snitching on somebody. Like, I don't know why that's such a surprise at this point. It depends on who it is. But if it's a street nigga, whatever, like, I, I'm expecting that. Every lit drug dealer that we, every lit drug dealer that I got a story snitched. They sold out that whole camp. They got out of the Rico case, all of that shit. Every nigga we know. So why when we see niggas snitching, it's such a surprise nowadays. It shouldn't be a surprise at this point. Uh, I mean, it'd it be a surprise to me because snitching is talked about so much. That everybody should know by now that don't snitch. But they never knew about it, though. Honestly, if you think about it, go back to the fucking... They never... Nobody... It was no honor amongst these. No no matter. I'm not saying it's okay. But I'm just saying, in every big case you see, every single one of them, for the, for the most part, mm-hmm. niggas ain't go down. Niggas said, fuck that. They tapped out. I mean, I don't think... uh. I don't think Big Meech them told. Yeah, that might be true. Yeah, yeah. But th- did his people tell on him though? I don't know. I, I ain't really. I know. Then right. when niggas get out, B, it be mad love, B. You think it be mad love? Cause, be mad love, B. Because, because. You OG now. It's over with. Because what's the name still? It look like he's still hurting. Like niggas ain't show uh, Smurda no love like he should have. Niggas should have. Niggas should have gave Bobby the fucking world with a silver platter. They was. They was showing him love when he came home. They want showing love. Yeah, I mean, they was showing love. I just feel like niggas ain't really listening to his records like that. Like niggas ain't bumping his music. Niggas ain't really putting on for Bobby like they should be put. Like he, 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 he held he, it down. Like he ain't making that. I'm sure we ain't on some high nigga. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He ain't on that. Right. He ain't on that. I'm gonna change the ways up. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That nigga said he having fun. He said I ain't on none. Of that. He said fuck all that. I'm having fun. Fuck that. He outside. <laughs> nah, man, I fuck with it. So what? Uh. What you got going on right now, man? Like, what um, what you promoting? You say you about to drop the tape. Yeah, I'm going to drop a tape, uh, a collab tape with me and this producer named Yeti uh, called Humble as Ever. Mm. Like a lump songs on there, uh, two features. Uh, <laughs> dropping on the six, like two days. That's all right. Yeah, like two days, dropping on the six. You still feel like you you on your humble bag? Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm coming out more, like. Yeah. I'm coming out my shell a little more. Yeah. Right, facts. I, can, I can feel it. I can see it. I watched a couple of your interviews. You don't be talking. You was... You ain't do me like that. You, you you gave me some love. I feel like, but do you think it's a um talking about being humble? Do you think that could be a detriment to your career? Because there's so many niggas that's flexing. It's like they the ones winning. They yeah, humble. Now. I mean, yeah, but I know I can still get that. I just said it in one of my songs too. I I was like, and the reason I ain't blow yet because my humbleness. You feel me? Like if I was piping it how I'm supposed to, like not how I'm supposed to, but if I was piping it like every chance I get, mm-hmm. like I can, but I don't. You feel me? Why you don't think? Why you don't want to get in your bag? I mean, cause I don't. I ain't. That ain't really me. That ain't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that ain't. I ain't been doing. It, I don't want to start doing it now. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, fact. Even though like you supposed to change for the better, but I'm trying to change for the better in a better way. Your niggas ain't been telling you like pop your shit. Um, sometimes they be like they they'll tell me get out my shit. You feel me? Mm. Nah, that makes sense. Wait, what's your son? I'm a Gemini. I'm a Gemini. Oh, for real? Nah, no cap. June twenty. Yeah, I'm June the fifth. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because, like, yeah, nah, I can understand it for sure. Like, nah, <laughs> trust me, I understand. Like, I be doing little shit, though, but I just be doing it humbly. You feel me? Yeah. Nah, I get it, bro. I get it. Oh, my God, I get it. Niggas, niggas have no idea. Like, niggas, hmm. nah, I fuck with it, bro. I, um, more power to you, bro. Whatever I can do to help support. I appreciate you for pulling up because we been, we, I definitely was been hitting you, bro. Yeah, my shit, dog. Since uh, Sirius XM. Oh yeah, yeah. First day I met you at Sirius XM. 
Damn, man. That shit, this shit, I'm assuming shit had to slow down since when your shit first, like, did that, did that make you upset or you just took what came with the shit? I was scratching. Yeah. I mean, I, I always be scratching about this shit. I be one, like I see I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it, how I want to do it, but one thing about me, I ain't gonna scratch myself about it, I'm gonna do it, you feel me? Mm. And don't try to get in my way, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't care who you are. Nah, facts. Did that, um, I ain't gonna lie, that's why I just deal with this last tape. You feel me? This last tape. I really ain't supposed to be dropping by myself, you feel what I'm saying? But I'm dropping it by myself, you feel me? Cause they ain't, y'all ain't dropping it, you feel me? Right. But now we all on the same same page ever since I told y'all I'm finna drop this tape. Y'all ain't finna, like, don't don't touch my shit. Don't take my shit down. I'm finna drop this tape on the six. Don't stop me. Don't do nothing to, to stop it from dropping this day. You feel me? But now we all on the same page, though. Mm. It's crazy because, like, I would assume even in your position, like, you drop this song, everybody fucking with you. Mm -hmm. And then it start to dwindle down. You probably try to make calls to certain DJs, certain niggas, and niggas, like, low-key stiff arm you for real. Um, they really don't even, like, everybody be fucking with me still. Like, they'll fuck with me. Like, all the DJs, anybody, like, they, they'll fuck with me. Mm. You feel me? It really, just, it really just me dropping. Like, I got to keep dropping. I can't just drop and then slow down. I ain't at the point in my career where I can slow down. Right. I got to get to him back to back. Y'all feel like y'all got to convince this nigga to keep dropping? <clears throat> now I'm saying, like, y'all be like, bro, you got to drop. Like, bro, you got, he be playing and shit. He bullshitting. Y'all be telling me drop. They just be asking for this shit so they can listen to it, man. <laughs> I mean, nah, but they be telling me drop though. But they just, but shit, they be telling me to drop what they want. What they want to hear too though. Like, it ain't what I want to hear. But they be like, shit, you gotta drop this. I don't be on that. You don't be listening to your man. I be listening to him sometimes. <laughs> did, did 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 they choose? Let's get it. Oh uh, nah, really. Let's get it. Got leaked. The people chose. Yeah, let's get that. it. Yeah, yeah let's get it. Got leaked, and I seen some kids dancing to him. Like, I gotta drop it. Like. Facts. Really How does shit get leaked nowadays, though? I don't even know, but they be having all my new shit, like even the latest shit. I don't know. This shit probably just be getting left on the computer or something. I ain't got no hard drive. I just go to the studio, record, send it to me. Tell them send it to me. So it okay. probably still be on the computer. Yeah, you gotta get the But hard I don't be drive. tripping about that because it's a different from when shit get leaked than when this shit drop. What you mean? What's the difference? What you mean? I know, like, I know, like, when it get leaked. Everybody ain't gonna see it, but I know when I drop it, everybody gonna see it. Okay. Feel me? Yeah, that makes sense. So it's like, fuck it, whatever. Mm -hmm. Nah. And then, like, the faster I drop the leak shit, like, the, the more pointless it, it is for it to be leaked. Mm. Nah, that makes sense. Nah, I fuck with it, bro. I appreciate you again, dog. Um, for, for the people that don't know, if you want to so let them know how to lock in and support everything that you got going on. Uh, I'm on all social medias at HUNXHO, HUNXHO, Twitter, Instagram. I think I'm on Facebook, um, H-U-N-S-H-O, but I'm active on um, Twitter and Instagram. Music on all um, all platforms. I'm finna drop a tape on the 6th. Humble as ever. Me and Yeti. Go get it. Appreciate it. My guy, Honcho, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. It's rap. We out. <laughs>